All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at today's astrology, astrological hours for what happened. No, no, wait a minute. Let's take a look at yesterday's astrological hours and results, right? So yesterday was the 30th of March and the club members area had these hours. Mind you, I could have had a few hours earlier as well, but I'm doing today, actually this week, I'm doing the astrology day by day. So normally, you know, I do the whole week on the weekend, right? So I just know what's going on Monday to Friday, just like that within two hours. But this weekend, ironically, I didn't have enough time. So what I'm doing is going day by day. In fact, after this video, I'm going to do today, Thursday, and then Friday, I'll do Friday. Maybe I'll have, if I have time today, I'll do Thursday and Friday today. But normally what I do every week, I didn't manage to do for the whole week. So because we're going day by day on this one, it's there we go so this is actually a good thing as well you can just do this day by day too you don't have to do the whole week every day like uh, on a sunday on the weekend all right so let's take a look at it quickly without wasting any time let's start with gold now yesterday i said 315 327 where are we this is gold this is yesterday 315 327 that's your 335 there you go watch this is it that's just 315. Beautiful. All right, right up there on the white line. 315, 327. Comes up into our purple zone. White line there. Comes down about nine bucks, which is nice. And then we had, what do we had? We have 545, 630. And look at that. Market goes back up into 550. All right, so 546, 613. We're up here. And then this is the second cell place. I actually had a 12 p.m. in the afternoon as well. But like I said, I'm doing it day to day. So I just thought I'd do New York. And that's it from there on. As you can see, the market just still coming down. How many dollars? That's about 13 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So let's see what else we've got. Euro dollar yesterday. See, knowing these turning hours in the markets just saves you a lot of grief and time. Instead of getting stuck in front of the computer for the rest of your life. Okay, so we've got again 315, 327. Oh, look at that. That's 325 right there. This is a five minute chart, by the way. All right, so 325, market comes down and then goes up 60 points. Isn't that nice? Where does it go to? It goes into your 545. All right, beautiful. If you sold there, you would have got another 20 points there. And that's it. What else do we have? Eight, eight to nine, which should be here. This is eight to nine here. All right. Another swing, as you can see, going up into our 10 o'clock. All right. Right there is your 10 o'clock. See how precise all this astrology is. And then coming, stabilizing at 11.50. Right here. And that's basically nice. And if you kept that buy open, you'd still be up there or if you bought here and kept it open you'd still be going up there let's take a look at us 30 but mind you this is really good for intraday trading seriously you know this is the us 30 now yesterday with the us 30 as you know i drew these white lines and these because these are our levels where we want to interact with the market at the right hour so what happened yesterday let's see 315 315 oh look at that that is your 315 going all the way up to that target. And at what time is that? That is 455, right? So 455, the market comes down into 530. And this is 550. So look at that 545 and 613 is up here again. So if you didn't sell there technically and said, wait a minute, that's not an astrological hour and you waited for this one then you would have said, okay, let me sell here, put my stop loss above there and just ride it down, following it all the way down to there. Nice risk return as well. That's 1020. Okay, so no surprises there. And look at that. That's also 920 there, 922. Between 824 and 922, we have another swing there. All right. What's that? This is, 
yeah, that's your 820, so nothing really there. If you were really following it, mind you, I wouldn't have done anything here. Maybe on this one, you could have, if it was daily pivot, or if it's the white line, we don't mind selling at lines, right? If we know the direction. So we did the top target, market comes back down to this target. And again, exactly at the astrological hours, market turns around, bang. Okay, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now then, this is a five minute chart for Bitcoin. Let's shrink this up a little bit so we can get the whole day into one screen, which is there. Okay, so nearly. So let's see what happened. What do I got? What do I got? This is 235. That's 315. So nothing really happening at 315, 327. It's in the middle of nowhere. Now, yesterday's pivot was not here. All right. But this is today's pivot. And not much happening. All right. We're going in a sideways motion. Let me shrink this up. The market brought here at five o'clock. Mm. You know, if you let's see if it's a real level where the mark, well, maybe you could have, okay, because maybe you could have, because it was the support level for, all right, so this was the support zone for yesterday. And it looks like they did some liquidity clearing there. So maybe you would have gotten in there at five o'clock. Okay, that's six o'clock. And that's 4.55, as you can see. So maybe you would have gotten in here somewhere. Um, all right, but other than that, I don't see, I don't see why 546 to 613, maybe you would have gotten, like I said, long here, and then the market goes up there. And then this is what hour is that? This is nine o'clock. Do I have anything at nine o'clock? Yeah, 824 to 922. Market's up there. Well, this is a bit in the middle of nowhere as well, but if it was a previous resistance, all right, maybe you would have sold it. Now, I wouldn't have done anything there on this one. And then the market comes down. So if you bought here, you would have definitely covered your trade on the white line. Uh, and then the market comes down here. Uh, you would have gotten out this trade at 8, 20, 9 o'clock. But I wouldn't, I don't know if you would have entered the short. I wouldn't have entered the short. There's no line there, like I said. And then this is, again, what's this? This is 10.50. So we've got 10.03 to 11. 50. So this is not a bad zone to get back in at the same level that the market bought before. As you can see, that's still holding. All right. Okay, fair enough. So Bitcoin was a bit of a mishmash. Other than that, though, you see, we're blending it with technical analysis, just doing astrology on its own is just not a good idea. All right. But if you bring it together with your astro, with your technical analysis, then your trading is really good because your price and time match. Okay, and that's it. So let's get out of here. And I'll see you guys on the next video.